And now for question number two from the October 2019 Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level paper. Um, this is a question about series, it seems. The adult population of a town at the start of 2019 is 25,000. A model predicts that the adult population will increase by 2% each year, so that the number of adults in the population at the start of each year following 2019 will form a geometric sequence. Find, according to the model, the adult population of the town at the start of 2032. So at the start of 2019, the population was 25,000. At the start of 2019. And the start of 2020, okay, um, the prediction was that it would increase by 2%. Now, increase by 2%. It's like 100%. When you increase, if you increase something by a percentage, it's like 100% plus that percentage. So it's to my pen. Second. The ink ran out. No, it's right. 100% plus 2%, which is 102%. When you increase something by 2%, it's going to be 102% of what it was before. Okay? Now, that as a decimal will be 1.02. Okay, so if I want to um, increase this, by 2%, I'm going to multiply it by 1.02. So this is going to increase at this by the start of 2020. It's going to be 25,000 increased by 2%. So it's going to be multiplied by 1.02. And in 2021, in 2021, what's going to happen is this value here is going to be multiplied by 1.02. And it's going to be, that's how that value is going to increase by 2%. So it keeps on increasing by 2% every year, the, the value at the end of the year before is increased by 2%. So that is going to be basically 25,000 multiplied by 1.02 squared. And the next one will be cubed, and the next one will be to the power of um, 4, and then so on. And it says here, uh, find, according to the model, the adult population of the town in the at the start of the year 2032. So we've got to go all the way up to 2032. And we're going to have 25,000 times 1.02 times something. So we've got to work out what that something is. Now what we can do is we can just use geometric series. Um, this is the first term, the second term, the third term. And this is the, well, we've got to work out what term that is. And we can do that because the first term is... 2019. The second term is 2020. The third term is 2021. What do you notice about these numbers here? I, if I add 18 to that 1, I get 19. If I add 18 to that 2, I get 20. If I add 18 to that 3, I get 21. So if I add 18 to something, I get 32. So that's 32 minus 18, which is going to give me 14. So this is when when the n is 14. Okay, so that's the 14th term in the series. So this is a geometric series. The first term is 25,000. I hope you understood that. It's very important. Okay, um, it's, a, it's a nice, easy way of working out which term you're, you're on. So the first term, 2019. Second term, 2020. There's a pattern there. So the, the term, which is 2032, will be 18 less than 32, which is 14. Okay, and the common ratio, as we can see, is 1.02. That's what you have to multiply by each time to, to get the next value. So that's a common ratio. It's a geometric series. And the number of terms, the term we're looking for is a 14th term. So we know that un, any term you want, is given by a times r to the power of n minus 1. That's the formula for geometric series. So we want to find what the 14th term is, which is a, which is 25,000. times r, which is 1.02, to the power of 14 minus 1, which is 13. And that will give you the term that we want, which is going to be the, the, the population at the start of 2032. Okay, so we're going to have here 25,000 times 
one point oops one point zero two to the power of thirteen and minus one. And that gives us thirty two thousand three hundred and forty point one six five thirty two thousand thirty two thousand three hundred and forty point you just see that what was that? Two thirty to three hundred forty point um one six seven sorry about that point one six seven dot 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 okay so find according to the model out of population okay so we should round our answer to three significant figures if it's not exact um so this is going to become thirty two thousand three hundred and forty thirty two thousand three hundred sorry thirty two thousand three hundred that's to three significant figures so there's our answer for part a now part b states it has it is also modeled that every member of the adult population gives five pounds to local charity at the start of each year find according to the mod to these models the total amount of money that will be given to ch local charity by the adult population of the town from 2019 to 2030 to inclusive give your answer to the nearest one thousand dollars okay so that means every single year every member of the adult population gives five pounds to the local charity no matter whether they gave it in the previous year so if we find the sum of all of the terms in the series from the first term to the 14th term that will be the sum of all the people that were adults that gave charity at the start of each year so we got to find the sum of that same series above so the first term of the series was 25,000 and the common ratio of the series was 1.02 and the number of terms in that in the series is up to the same year was 14 okay so we need to find the sum of these first 14 terms and that will give me the number of people altogether that that gave charity every year and then we have to just multiply that by five because each they gave five pounds every year so you got um the formula for the sum of a geometric series is a times one minus in fact it's better to write it in this other form if r is greater than one so it's a times r to the power of n minus one over r minus one this is given to you in your formula book right so you, but once you've got used to answering these questions you won't really need to look at it but anyway a is equal to twenty five thousand. that's the first term and r to the power of n is 1.02 to the power of 14 minus one over r minus one which is 1.02 minus one so there we have the sum of the first 14 terms and what we've got to do in the end is multiply that by five so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say from the beginning this what we want is five times the sum of the first 14 terms so it's going to be five times all of this okay just to that's five okay so that's five times the sum of all those um numbers of people so we can do five let's make a bigger fraction so you have five times twenty five thousand brackets 1.02 to the power of 14 you're going to have take away one and close the bracket over 1.02 take away one and that gives us 1996742 1996742 so you have 1996742 six seven four two just make sure yep okay so that's one million oops one million nine hundred ninety six thousand seven hundred and forty two okay um all right we can stop there that's point why does that keep happening that's point whatever something there's some stuff after that but basically we have to round to the nearest one thousand dollars so here you have the units, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. So we've got to round up to 
the nearest thousand. So you can see that's going to be one thousand, one million, sorry, nine hundred and ninety-seven thousand, and that's pounds. So that's the total sum of money that was given to the local charity by the adult population all the way from 2019 to 2032. We found the sum of the populations every single year, okay, because each of those adults gave five pounds every year. Okay, so we found that sum and then we multiplied it by five to get the sum of money, okay, because each of them gave five pounds. So there's the answer to part B and part A. Now in this question, a lot of people get mixed up with the power. They don't know what power to use. So this is a nice, neat way of working out which term that you're at. And then you can use the geometric series um, formula. So you can work out that the first term, that's 2019, second term, 2020. So you can see that the, there's a pattern that will evolve. So that's 18 more. So that's 18 more than 14 is 32 and so on. Okay, so I hope that was quite clear. And be very careful to answer the question. It tells you in the beginning, if the answer is not exact, round to 3SF. So that's what we did here. Okay, 32,300, that's the third significant figure, one, two, three. Um, and then in this question, they told us around to the nearest 1,000. So we had 1,996,742 point whatever. That became 1,997,000 pounds. So always read the question carefully. And there we have part B. I hope that was quite clear and if you want to see other questions from the same paper then click on the playlist that will appear here if you want to see other questions from the same topic of series and sequences you can click on the playlist over here and to subscribe to the channel you can click on the icon that should appear somewhere over here thank you for watching and see you in another video somewhere